how to remove your name from Google. In this updated video tutorial, I'm going to share with you core insights that you must truly understand when you want to remove your name from Google. Because if you submit a removal request without understanding what I'm about to share in this video session, then this is the type of email Google's are going to send to you, confusing you even more. So, when you want to remove content from Google, content being your name, your address, phone number, whatever the case may be, first, let's understand this fact. Google is a business. That means it obeys within the law in a certain country that it participates in. That means laws within Australia are different compared to laws within Germany, for example. Second, Google has its own products, such as Blogger, Google Docs, Google Maps. These products are owned by Google. Meaning, let's imagine your name that you want to remove from Google comes from Google Docs, or it's on a blog built on Blogger. Then that is a product owned by Google. Make sense? Who's the webmaster? Who's the web controller for that blogger website? Surely there's a website owner, but the buck stops with Google because Google owns that product. And third, stay away from spammy reputation management services because most of them actually do more harm than good. So let's go and see this fact. And that is, Let's imagine your name is John Smith or Jane Doe. Someone searches Google. Google shows its results. It could be just a web search. It could be an image search because Google also is an image search engine. Now, if you want to remove that content from Google, then you don't go and straight away submit a removal request because that's going to stuff up things a little bit more. Make sense? You want all your interactions with Google to be right on the money, so to speak. Or else it's always going to be on internet. Make sense? Now, yeah. if you've already submitted a removal request and Google is saying, you know what? Yeah, we understand your concerns, but Google cannot remove the content. That's a bit tricky. Yeah. Why? Because Google doesn't own that content. It has nothing to do with that content. It's just showing that content to its searchers, right? Let's imagine I go and search Google with this search pattern here. I copy the text, wrap it within double quotes, telling Google, you know what, show me a website that has that information. And here, if I wanted to remove all that content, well, how do I do that? I just need to simply delete that web page. Then it's gone from Google because next time Google visits this website, it's not going to find that information, whether that information is a name, phone number, image, whatever the case may be. That is why for certain type of content you want removed, if you submit a removal request without understanding how it works, then Google's going to say to you, you know what? Google cannot remove that content from third-party web pages. Third-party web pages is anything that is not owned by Google. Surely Google has help section you know, saying, you know what? <laughs> content policy for Blogger, content policy for Google Docs, Google My Business. It's confusing. So how do you then remove that content? How do you remove your name? Well, you need to then first contact the third party website. If you've already done that, you know what? Most um, people who purchase the private course saying, you know what? I've already done that process and the website owner didn't even reply. So then what? 
Well, you, you have different options that I'm not going to get into because some of them are on the borderline, so to speak, you know, on the gray line of, of um, the way the world works, okay? So, to be able to remove your name then from third-party websites is you start interacting with the website owner and get them to remove it. Because the moment they remove your name, your image from their web page, then when Google visits that website next time, it's not going to see that information anymore. Thus, it's going to remove your name from Google. So, I know it is confusing, but quite honestly, Google is a multi-billion dollar global search engine that is operating in all over the world. Therefore, because it's a business, different rules apply. If you're in Europe, for example, because it has different um, policies and, and guidelines to remove content for European citizens compared to Australian citizens. If you're residing in USA, it has different kind of laws. But generally, the policies it has is outlined in the account help section. Okay, so remember, Google is a business. Google has its own products. And let's imagine the name that you are removed is on Google Docs or Blogger platform. Even then, first line of action to take is to contact the website owner if it's on a Blogger platform. If it's on Google Docs, surely you may not be able to find the person who uploaded the content. At that moment, then it falls on Google to remove that content because it's owned by Google. As in Google Docs is owned by Google. Okay, so help section shows you what products are owned by Google. That includes YouTube. YouTube is actually owned by Google. That means if someone has uploaded a video on YouTube platform, surely you can contact the YouTube channel owner by pressing about, and then they may have information about how you may get in touch with them to remove that video. But if they don't, then because that product is owned by Google, you can now interact with Google following its policies and guidelines for removing content for youtube it's obviously a video right so you want your interactions with google to be spot on or else each interaction that you have with google if it's unsuccessful then it's uh, more challenging make sense that is why it is only in your best interest to read through the policies and understand what's being said in this video session and then take action accordingly. I thank you very much for learning with Rankia. Keep in mind, I'm going to create an updated um, blog post sharing information about removing your name, your image, your business name, and so on. While here, do definitely check out the private video course because some content within it I actually cannot share on Rank Your YouTube channel. One way or another, stay at it. Don't let search engines disturb your sleep, so to speak. If the content is perhaps a conviction that happened many years ago, or it's a, an image or a mugshot and so on. Okay, Don't let search engines make you pay for something that you've already paid for. As in, if you've been convicted, let's say, 10 years ago, and been charged or not charged and whatever, then why should Google show that information still affecting your life? Make sense? That's why it's smart to understand how Google works and then take appropriate action accordingly. I thank you very much for learning with Rankia, and I'll talk with you in the next video session.